can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at the king of all coins in the cryptocurrency market, Ethereum. Currently trading above $2,332. The last one year has seen Ethereum rally up by 44.2%, but the last one month has seen it down by 12.6%. Renewed optimism is coming back to the altcoin market. We're seeing altcoins have double digit gains across the board. Some of them are having triple digit gains across the board. How high should we expect Ethereum to go in the coming days and the coming weeks? Ethereum currently sits around its 200 week moving average. Ethereum has dropped to new two year lows against Bitcoin. Is the bad trend going to continue for Ethereum? We're going to take a look at new stories happening in the Ethereum ecosystem. Should be expecting that wonderful pump towards alt season. Are we going to see Ethereum head back towards $4,000? Or are we heading towards $1,500? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. Let's get down to business. Guys, the king of all coins in the cryptocurrency market over the last one years has underperformed. It has underperformed Ethereum. It has underperformed Solana. It has underperformed Pepe. It has underperformed Bitcoin. Ethereum over the last one year has been a huge disappointment. We're expecting good things from Ethereum the coming days and the coming weeks. We're expecting Ethereum to catch up to Bitcoin. We're even expecting Ethereum to start outperforming Bitcoin. On the daily time frame, guys, our eyes is still firmly fixed on that $3,200 level. Ethereum needs to blast above that key level to prove to us that it is ready for higher values, that it is ready to give $4,000 a crack. But the key level to watch out for for Ethereum will be that $3,200 level. Ethereum 200 day moving average currency is around that key region. I'm not shocked to see Ethereum rally towards $3,200, and we can do that very, very quickly. Let's see some new stories going around the Ethereum ecosystem. Ethereum ETF would have done better if launched in January. That's what the big stamp executive is saying. Big stamp Bobby Zakota says Ethereum ETF came at a bodysome moment for risk assets, but was optimistic things will pick up by the end of the year. And if this pick up, guys, we're going to see more inflows and we see more inflows. Ethereum might catch a bid to the upside. Crypto investment products sees $436 million inflows while Ethereum continues to suffer. Inflows to crypto investment products rose over the past week, but Ethereum continues to lose investor interest. Why it's so, guys? Why are we seeing a lot of people dumping their Ethereum? Is it because Ethereum has been dumping against Bitcoin? Are we just in a cycle where a lot of people see Ethereum performing poorly, they continue dumping their Ethereum, a lot of people see that Ethereum continue performing poorly, and they continue dumping their Ethereum because the last two years has been brutal for Ethereum holders. Since the 29th of August 2022, when Ethereum was trading at a 0.085 ratio against Bitcoin, we have seen it lose more than 54% of its value. Since then, Ethereum is down to the 0.037% ratio against Bitcoin. Setting a new two year low against Bitcoin is not a thing you want to see when the market is hyper bullish. Setting a new two year low against Bitcoin is not what you want to see when we're expecting all season. Guys, all season is around the corner. All season is when we see all coins are performing Bitcoin. All season is when we see all coins going to the moon. And Ethereum is the king of all coins in the cryptocurrency market. So, one of the key indicators is to see Ethereum outperforming Bitcoin. And if it's that's seeing more than 75% of the top 50 coins doing better than. Bitcoin over a period of 90 days, guys. That will be officially all season, and I'm sure in that period of time, we would have seen green return back to the cryptocurrency market. Right now, there's fear in the cryptocurrency market. Right now, the cryptocurrency market participants are afraid to put some money into the pool. Last month, there was fear. Last week, there was fear. Yesterday, there was fear. I believe the reign of fear over the cryptocurrency market will soon be over. We'll soon see Ethereum heading to higher values. Even though Ethereum has fallen to new 42-year low versus Bitcoin, is this the bottom or more pain analysis or more pain ahead? Some analysts see this correction as a local price bottom for it based on the historical chart pattern. I believe so too. I believe this will be the bottom for Ethereum against Bitcoin with Bitcoin dominance rising up to 58%. I believe this could be the local bottom for Ethereum. Ethereum holders have been in huge, huge pain and a lot of people have capitulated. A lot of people have to borrow money to buy Ethereum thinking to go to higher values right now. They have to sell those investments right now they have to sell for huge losses and the rsi is actually showing a bullish divergence which means the price has gone to new lows but the rsi has not set new lows which is fundamentally a good thing over the next few weeks guys i'll be personally expecting ethereum to continue pushing to higher values but the butchering solo staking key to ethereum security at ethereum singapore 2024 but butchering explore how solo stakers strengthen ethereum security and centralization by reducing reliance on centralized 
entities. And Ethereum trader turned $87,000 into $14 million after an eight-year hold. Ethereum will started selling tokens on September 16 with over $38 million in ETH, in ETH still in the wallets. Very, very crazy. But guys, that's what holding can do. This trader held $87,000 worth of investment for over eight years and he has gotten over $40 million for his effort. Right now, he has cashed around $2 million. He still has... 38 million dollars to cash what a wonderful wonderful trade that's why you want to buy low and that's why you want to sell high that's why you want to buy fear and that's why you want to sell gray ethereum dominance currently sits at the 13.74% region we're expecting it to reverse back right now ethereum dominance is heading the opposite direction of bitcoin dominance bitcoin dominance is going to higher values ethereum dominance has dropped to a three-year low. The last time Ethereum dominance was this low was in April of 2021. Right now, we have seen Ethereum dominance head back to where it was trading in April 2021, and that's around the 13.74% region. Ethereum's market cap sits at $280 billion. I expect it to rally above 300 billion. I expect Ethereum's market cap to rally above $320 billion. And we can easily go above $320 billion very, very quickly. But guys, you want to pay attention to what the market cap will be doing when we get towards $400 billion. I believe there's going to be a lot of resistance around the $400 billion level for Ethereum. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Are you buying more ETH right now? Are you on ETH bull? ETH over the last few months has been dumping to Goblin Town. But guys, take a look at an example of when Ethereum was not performing well. And when the pump came, we outperformed the rest of the market. That happened just as early as me. We saw Ethereum rallying around 39% in just 13 days after we got that Ethereum's ETF news. I believe such a scenario will happen in the cryptocurrency market soon. I believe we are going to see Ethereum outperform both Bitcoin, Solana and other altcoins. Are you a bull on Ethereum? Are you a bear? Are you buying more Ethereum right now? Or are you selling for some sweet, sweet profit? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notifications to get notified anytime I drop a new video and anytime I go live. Remember guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So invest for the long haul. Don't get too scared. Don't get too greedy. See you guys in my next video. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.